One of y'all salutes at NBS, nothing but Sports Central. Here to talk to y'all about the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. Salute to the teams that did make it. Salute to all of the teams that were playing en route to it. But it's four games, eight teams playing for a chance to make it to the NFC and AFC championships. And ultimately, a trip to the Super Bowl. Um, Jacksonville versus Kansas City. Jacksonville is playing with house money. You know, they won a division, won their first playoff game after being down 27 to nothing. Now they are going to run into Kansas City. Um, Kansas City has weapons. Kansas City has been in this position before. Jacksonville has house money and a puncher's chance. I do have Kansas City winning a closer game than most think. Mm, 31-24. And then um, you got Buffalo versus none other than the Cincinnati Bengals, the team that uh, just a week or so ago, DeMar Hamlin had his accident. Um, he had got hurt, and you know now he's recovering. Thank God to see him doing well and recovering from this incident. You know what I'm saying? It was a tragic situation, and we're still sending our prayers and thoughts to him. But in the game of games, uh, Joe Burrow is on a mission. Josh Allen had a shaky win versus Miami, but wins in the playoffs or wins in the playoffs. Um, out of the quarterbacks that performed last week, Josh Allen really wasn't on his AA game, and Joe Burrow, um, it might be the coming out party for him. He might be able to really turn up. Joe Burrow, if I had to pick three or more touchdowns, I would probably say three or more. He's going to go through the air um, and try to end this whole Buffalo thing. Uh, Buffalo is a, is a hell of a team, but Josh Allen, he's going to run. He gets anywhere near the end zone. He's going to tuck his tail and just run, just drop, just try, do anything he can to try to get in position. Um, I got to be in a close one. I got Cincinnati in that regard. Dallas versus the San Francisco 49ers. Dallas Cowboys have had a pretty impressive season in most regards. Um, they dealt with some injuries. They dealt with, you know, players coming back. They dealt with, you know, wide receiver getting their wide receiver core together. They dealt with uh, the, the secondary. They even brought in T.Y. Hilton. and they've been like patch and go, but their patch and go has been working really well because the front line really gets after the quarterback. Uh, they, have a, <clears throat> they have a pretty solid group of running backs, you know what I'm saying, with Ezekiel Elliott still running the way he does, but Tony Pollard, I, I've always said this, I feel like Tony Pollard is the number one in this league. I know it's set up the way it is because, you know, contracts and things like that, but Tony Pollard, uh, he, he's very shifty. For where Zeke is powerful, he's he's shifty. Um, battling against San Francisco 49ers, and the 49ers, talent-wise, their defense is up there. Probably the best defense in football. Uh, they got weapons, McCaffrey. They got Debo Samuel. Uh, Purdy is very fast on his feet. He can make decisions, get out of the pocket, scramble, things like that. Um, in this one, I do have the San Francisco 49ers winning a close game. I just think that... Uh, the defense of the San Francisco 49ers can present some issues as far as like for the quarterback, interceptions, maybe some turnover. I, you know, Dak has led the league internal in interceptions and he missed four or five games. You know what I'm saying? Three or four. He missed some games and he still led the league in interceptions by a wide margin. Not by a super wide margin, but I think he was up there like 15 interceptions. Um, so if that's the case, you know, but, you know, Dallas could win this game and I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Um, Finally, the New York Giants versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Wow, didn't think we'd be in this position, I'm going to be honest with you, but we did get here, uh, and we are here. Uh, fast on his feet, he can make decisions, get out of the pocket, scramble, things like that. Um, in this one, I do have the San Francisco 49ers winning a close game. I just think that uh, the defense of the San Francisco 49ers can present some issues as far as, like, for the quarterback, interceptions, maybe some turnover, I, you know, Dak has led the league internal in interceptions and he missed four or five games, you know what I'm saying, three or four. He missed some games and he still led the league in interceptions by a wide margin, not by a super wide margin, but I think he was up there like 15 interceptions. Um, so if that's the case, you know, but, you know, Dallas could win this game and I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Um, finally, the New York Giants versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Wow, didn't think we'd be in this position, I'm going to be honest with you, but we did get here, uh, and we are here. Uh, 
Philadelphia Eagles are a very, very tough team. Jalen Hurts, we all know about the shoulder issue, but uh, you know when he came back in that one game uh, against the Giants, they won 22 to 16. Uh, Jalen Hurts really didn't take no risk in that game. He only had one design run in the other games that he did play in. It was up, up seven to nine design runs, but in this game it was only one. I know the offensive coordinator and his coach and him probably thought it wasn't worth risking it. Um, but when he plays against the Giants, the Giants are going to play football. You know what I'm saying? Like, you will get tackled. You will, you're going to have to, you know, that shoulder's going to have to be what it is. Like, you need the full Jalen Hurts MVP first couple rounds or first 10 weeks of football experience. Anything less than that actually tilts the advantage. Um, as far as defense goes, uh, I know that the Eagles played a lot of soft zone coverage. The shell, you know what I'm saying, with the safety over the top and then you got corners. But it's a shell. If, that, if they operate in that form, Daniel Jones is going to eat because he can run, he can pass, he has slants, he has people to catch the ball now. You don't need top wide receivers, you need wide receivers that are going to work. The Eagles receiving core is obviously better, way better. They have all the weapons, all the talent and in the world, and they could easily win this game. They beat the Giants like fucking 100 to nothing in the first game they played, so I'm being realistic. But to me, I've been in these situations before, you know, playoff runs, unexpected things, and... Here it goes again. Who would I be to pick against the Giants? I got the Giants winning against the Philadelphia Eagles. Salute to every single one of y'all and MBS. You did. And we're going to start things off with the AFC, where the Cincinnati. No, we'll start, no, we'll start out with Kansas City versus Jacksonville. Whew. Hey, um, I'm going to tell Jacksonville. Jacksonville can't do one thing. Fall behind like y'all did versus the Chargers because you're not coming back. <laughs> you're not coming back, dog. I'm telling you that now. So y'all fall behind to them Chiefs. It's a wrap. Um, I got the Chiefs winning this game. I, I can't pick against Pat Mahomes over Trevor Lawrence. I can't do it, man. And they got Travis Kelsey. They running back is playing pretty good. I just think they're a little more power. I mean, not a little more. They're a lot more powerful than Jacksonville, and I think they'll show it in this game. So I got Kansas City winning this game like. 27 <coughs> 18 or something 27 17 somewhere around there oh you don't think jack you don't think kansas city saw this game they know but what you're dealing with is patrick mahomes the, you, i mean the mvp um and they got they they this is a high octane offense man and jack um kansas city that that's not what the chargers do Kansas City is a different team, a different breed. Once they, once they jump on you, they're jump, they, they, they ain't stopping. Um, so they're gonna have to outscore, and Lawrence is gonna have to outplay Patrick Mahomes or keep the ball away from Mahomes as much as possible. I just don't see that happening. And I got the Kansas City Chiefs advancing to the AFC Championship game. And they will be facing the winner of Cincinnati versus Buffalo. Yeah, I definitely got Cincinnati winning that game. Okay. I'm, oh, you, I'm not... you want my prediction? Oh, I got Cincinnati winning, man. It, it's just, I thought you already heard it, but I'm telling you like this now. I got Cincinnati because I just feel like Buffalo has some things that they got to work on. More than Cincinnati at this moment. I think I don't. I like Cincinnati against Buffalo. I like the matchup for some reason. I just feel like Cincinnati knows how to. They play their best ball when they play Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? And Joe Burrow is a beast. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I don't know because Buffalo did. I don't know, man. It's kind of crazy. For some reason, some tell me to pick Buffalo, but I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not doing it. Cincinnati. I got Cincinnati winning this game. For some reason, some tell me to go with Cincinnati. So I've been doing good all year. I've been the best with the picks all year. Keo know what's up. For some reason, I got Cincinnati, man. We're going to talk about it later on, though. But Cincinnati wins this game somewhere around, I would say, 37-34. I got Cincinnati also. <clears throat> I, I just like them overall as a better team. I think uh, this team, you know, they know how to get to the big dance and – um, I and I think the, 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 they're going to play this game really well. And I got I got Joe Burrow and company, so I, I'm taking the Bengals over the Buffalo Bills. All right, 
so let's go to the NFC, man. <laughs> uh, let's go to the the matchup. Um, we got the um. That's crazy. You got three NFC East teams in the playoffs in the NFC. So we got the New York best Giants. division in football this year. By the yes, way, yes, sir. We got the New York Giants versus the Philadelphia Eagles. What up, butterfly? <laughs> How you doing, my brother? <laughs> yeah. What up, Showtime SP? How you doing, my brother? Yeah, I see y'all got a little duo going on. Eagles versus the, the Giants going on. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, the Giants, they looked a little bit different this week in the playoffs. Not going to lie. The way they was playing, man, I was like, I don't know. Daniel Jones got a little bit more different pep in his step right now. Saquon definitely was a, the Saquon of the, you know, prime time. And they defense was looking pretty good. I don't... That's crazy. Jalen Hurst, man, I hope you ready, man. But you know what? I hate Philly and I hate the Giants. I hate both of y'all. I don't even want to pick one of y'all to win. I hope y'all tie or something. But anyways... If I had to go with a winner in this game, I think Philly takes it, though. I think Philly just not going – I think Philly just a little bit of a better team. And I don't think they go out like that to the Giants right now. But I don't think Philly going to the Super Bowl, so it don't even matter. But, yeah, I, got, uh, I think Philly wins this game in a close one. But, look, if the Giants win, I am not surprised. I'm not surprised. But I just don't – I wouldn't put my money on it. Yeah, man. Um, I I honestly don't care who wins. I I can't stand both of these teams. I can't stand both of their fan bases. They both trash. Um, sorry, my bad. I mean, <laughs> but um, I to be honest with you, I am rooting for the Giants though. I I am lightweight rooting for the Giants. The Giants they look really good, man. You lightweight rooting for the Giants? And I've exp. That's kind of crazy. The reason why is, I don't want to hear rooting and giants in your name and, and you talking in that same uh, sentence. This, this, the reason why is rooting because, and giants. Let's like say, that. let's say if the if the Cowboys do win, and the Giants win, the Cowboys do get a home game against the Giants. If the Eagles win and the Cowboys win, the Cowboys will be going to Philadelphia. We can beat Philly. <laughs> we can beat Philly and Philly. We beat the Giants twice. They're gonna be pumped. <laughs> we swept but, them. They're going to be more pumped than Philly. Philly think they can beat us already, so we're going to go in there and, and beat them. But I just think I just think it would be more amazing the Cowboys hosting an NFC Championship game, winning it, finally going to the Super Bowl, and just celebrating with their fans, man. Uh, I just think that that's an idea. That, that is fire. Don't get me wrong. It is fire. <laughs> but, you know, it's fire. But, I'm not going to lie. But I don't – don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I feel do. like if they get that far, they beat them, and then they beat – what's his name? They beat – uh, and then they beat Philly, and then they come here after we swept them. That's like a revenge tour for them. Nah, hell no. <laughs> hell no. But I do – but I do think Philadelphia will win this game, man. I think Philadelphia is just more of a powerhouse team. I think they're – outside of the running game, Miles Sanders – you know, I think he's he he gets overlooked. He got selected to the Pro Bowl, and the weapons that they got in Philadelphia, man, Devontae Smith, AJ Brown, and you got Jalen Hurts throwing the ball or running the ball. I think that's deadly for them, and the defense is you know good. Also, I'm taking Philadelphia at home. <laughs> 